So we made some changes with uh, the e-bike situation. I was gonna do uh, the 20 inch wild man, but after thinking long and hard, I have way too much money, way too much money in that bike to put a motor on it and do all that crazy stuff. So I decided to use a bike that I never use. Actually, uh, it was mine. And then I gave it to Chell. And now I'm taking it back. Cause she don't drive it. I mean, she don't ride it. Let's see if this car starts. Gotta do the double pump, gotta do the double pump. I put a sticker kit on there a uh, sticker kit and some grips so I really didn't do nothing to this bike so it's gonna be the perfect bike to maybe destroy we will see Chell doesn't even know that I'm about to do this to her bike but I really don't care Say something, watch. She's about to say what something. What are you doing? She's about to say something, watch. She's about to say something. Don't mess with my bike, bro. So this is the bike, boys and girls. Right here. This is what we're gonna use. Where are you going with my stuff? Open this. No. Open this on your YouTube channel. Get out of here. That's yours. Open it. Get out of here. Bunch of kids panties in there. <laughs> okay. I need to get a knife. about it stay out of my business that's not your bike no more you don't ride it it's not yours bro it's not your bike no more get off it don't touch it yeah all that's coming off guys she's bamboozled she's bamboozled okay guys so seven 750 motor I might have to stretch the frame because because you see how wide maybe I don't I might have to stretch the frame. 
because this might be too thick. And also, I'm gonna have to file down the dropouts because the dropout axle bolts are these are these are smaller. So I'm gonna have to file down the, the dropout, and then I'm gonna have to stretch the frame. Wow. Okay, that's work, guys. You know what, let me measure it. So, end to end, we're looking at about nine inches. About nine inches. Seven and a half. Shit. A six, seven. It's about seven inches. The best way to find out is just to take this off and figure it out. Let's see what I have to do. This is the problem with buying aftermarket stuff, you know? Stuff's not gonna fit perfect because it's universal. They try to make it to where it fits any bike, you know? But it, it's that's never ever the case. There's always gonna be some kind of modification. And I'm just doing this because I'm bored, guys, you know? I love, like, building stuff and, you know, creating stuff that I've never seen before. You guys seen this before? I haven't. So, I already know I'm gonna have to stretch something. Okay. This is going to be a problem. So, I know these washers are probably hmm, This was my whole issue. This right here. This was my issue. I knew something was going to have to Actually, if I stretch the frame, the thing is, I don't want to stretch something out and then the shit not work. And then I'm, my, my bike is destroyed, you know? So I got to think this through. Gotta think it through. I don't have to file the dropout. Dropout fits perfect. I don't know, guys. I'm gonna have to do some research on this. Because if I. I stretch the frame I 
I'm not, I'm not off that much. Maybe an inch. Hmm. Okay. What are your thoughts, guys? Do it or don't do it. What are your thoughts? I got to think this through real good because once I stretch this frame, that's it. Because there ain't no stretching it back. What I mean by stretching the frame is actually making this wider. It needs to to be wider maybe an inch I mean that's easy to do but it needs to go out about an inch so what are your thoughts guys what are your thoughts forget it or do it I got some thinking to do but that's that's definitely what needs to happen is a uh, frame stretch. Also comes with comes with the controller and everything. Another thing I can do is um, have someone install it. I know someone that installs these, but it comes with the screen and everything, man. Easy, easy. Wiring, not too many wires. All plug and play. All plug and play. This is the torque arm, I think. I don't know. Oh, this is the this is the controller for the crank crank sensor for your. Uh, oh my God! I can't even brake levers too to cut the motor when. Uh, Okay, let me know what you guys think. <sighs> Got some thinking to do, baby. Another thing, guys, I was going to order a front, a front motor. So let's see if that's even going to fit. I decided not to get the front motor because this guy on this dirt bike is annoying. I decided not to get the front motor because I wanted to be able to do be able to do wheelies, man, on this thing. Yeah, that would have been the same way. That would have been the same thing. Actually, it's even more shorter. So that really wouldn't have worked on the front. So the back is, is wider. So that's what we're gonna do. We are going to do some research on stretching the frame. I know how to stretch the frame. It's just, do I want to? <laughs> do I want to stretch the frame? Is the issue because once you stretch the frame, I believe I would have to 
get a disc brake setup for sure because the V brakes they're not going to reach at all so alright that's it guys um, we'll figure it out let me know what you guys think though should I go through with this or should I just say dude don't do it don't do it Let me know, guys.